Hey everybody, I want to introduce you to a new Rise feature that I'm excited about called Cover Photos. So just to give you some context, today when you preview a course, it looks like this and we use your brand color right for this header area. And that looks really nice. And then of course you also see that in the sidebar right over here. Looks really great. But now we've introduced Cover Photos. And that adds a lot of personality and customization to the look of your course. Let me show you how. So I'm gonna go into settings here and I'm gonna scroll down to where it says cover photo and then click this button here that says add cover photo. I can browse for cover photos and we have literally hundreds of thousands of great looking cover photos that you can see here. So you can see I can just browse through these, I can scroll and so on. And again, there are literally hundreds of thousands of these I like um, this one. I think this one looks really nice. And I'm going to close and preview that. And yeah, that looks beautiful. And of course, it's going to look great on every device because it's Rise. It does not matter. Okay, cool. Now, one of the things you may have noticed is there was a setting there whether we also show that in the sidebar. So see right here, this is a little preview of your theme. And if I toggle that on or off, um, it's whether it'll also show in the sidebar. So right now it's defaulted to on. And so it will also be here in your sidebar, which is really nice. But you can decide to, if you want a cleaner look or if you want to emphasize your brand more, you can untick that box and you'll have your brand color there. That's up to you. All right, great. So let's take another uh, imaginary course here. I'm going to put in um, a different course name here to give it some context and let's pretend I'm a manufacturer of vinyl records and we're building a course on how to do that. So uh, let's use the search feature of cover photos. So I come into here to cover photos and I'm going to come up here to the upper right and let's search for a turntable. All right, cool. Some nice turntable images. I like this one. It gets processed there. You could see it, it, if it's available in the sidebar or not. Great, let's preview that. And bam, that looks really nice. Now, again, one of the things to keep in mind is that this is a responsive image. So it's gonna respond and adapt for the various viewport. You don't have to do anything for that to work automatically. So whether it's on tablet or a tablet landscape or on phone portrait, it's always going to look good. One note though, if you're uploading your own images, which we encourage you to do, just keep in mind that you can't have an image that requires an exact cropping, right? This is more about a conceptual uh, scene than it is an exact cropping, a diagram or something like that. So what I mean by that is you'll notice, for example, when I'm here in this wide view, we see these two knobs here. Right, and then we see just the end of the uh, tone arm here. But for example, if I'm in portrait orientation where you have a more vertical orientation, that's gonna adapt the image. And now I don't see those two knobs, but I see more of the tone arm on the turntable. So just keep that in mind. All right, great. So let's just for fun, let's go and search for one more image. And maybe I didn't wanna do turntable, but I wanna do something more literal around the records. So I'm gonna add another cover photo. And in this case, I'll, I'll put in records as my search term. And sure, this one looks good. And there it is. And it's keeping it in the sidebar too. Why not? I'm going to preview that. And that looks really nice. Now, one thing we've noticed is that on light image backgrounds, you may want a little more text contrast. So that's really easy to do in Rise. Just go back to settings and you'll see this text contrast control, which will essentially darken the background a little bit and let the text pop more. 30% in our experiments, and we've done hundreds of them, works best generally across all images. But if you do have a white-ish background, you may want to bump it up a little bit. Let's maybe go bump that up to 50%. Or if you have a really dark background, you may even want to reduce it to 20 or 10%. But anyways, let's go take a look. And yeah, bam, that looks really nice. So go experiment with cover photos. It adds a lot of customization and emotion to your courses. We think you're going to love it. Excited to see what you do with it. Thanks.